got Sue from Grand Rapids on the line. Good morning, Sue. Welcome to the David Carrier Show. Yeah, good morning. I have a simple question, David. Um, I have a trust with you, mm-hmm. but I wonder if I buy a CD like for three years or two years, whatever. Do I have to put it in a uh, Do I have to put it in a trust? Yes. Well, that was simple, huh? Yeah. Where's the Where's the money coming from, Sue? If I could ask, to buy the CD, where it would, it, be, it would be from a bank. No, I, yeah, the bank I is. Se- be- yeah, the bank is selling you the CD, but we would have put all yeah. your bank accounts into one or other of the trusts that we did for you. Um, and so, my question is, where which trust account is the money coming from to buy the CD? Okay, now that I don't know offhand, so I guess sure. I have to find that out. Yeah, so, but, but right, it's a good call. Okay. It, it's a very good call, though, Sue, because if you got your money in the protection trust, you know, and it's been in there for however long it's been, you know, years or whatever, you want to be very, very careful, and we would advise you on this, you know, if you give us a call at the office, 361-8400, um, to make sure that, the money goes directly from the trust account and that the name on the CD be the trustee of the trust. Now that's you right now. You're the trustee of your trust and that's fine. But what you don't want to do is you do not want to put it in your own name because if you put it in your own name and then you transfer it to the trust, well, you just lost however many years it's been of protection. Okay. Remember we're trying to get to that five year, five year point. And if we've already gotten there, right, then we're not going to restart the clock on anything. It's going to be just fine. But you have to transfer the funds from the trust account to the CD, and the CD has to be in the name of the trust. Now, there are some there are some um, uh, like savings and loans and whatnot that have these bonus rates and, and stuff like this that are limited, and you can't put it in the name of the trust. This is why you got to call us to make sure that the name on the CD is the protection trust so that you continue the protection that you're already getting. Okay? All right, Dave. Okay. All right. Thank All you right. so much, sir. Thank you. You betcha. Well, the real, yeah. the real answer is call us, okay? And we'll get, we'll get into it with you. All right? Don't, don't let this be the be-all and end-all of the, of the conversation regarding the CD. If you're going to buy a CD... There's no problem with that. No problem with that. We just have to make sure that it's titled correctly uh, because in our um, in the cases that we're doing with uh, with the Medicaid, this is one of the things that they look at. You know, you, they they they're fly specking this stuff. And so long as we're doing it right, there's no problem. But it's it's like we were saying earlier in the um, earlier in the show. The key is doing it correctly, following the rules. You follow the rules, your stuff will be protected. I'm not saying they have no problem with it; they don't like it, but too bad it's their rules, and we're just li- we're just working with them, um, and you'll be fine. But you got to follow the rules, and that's where we can help out. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so that's the but. But you see, once you've got the trust, this is this is why most trusts fail. Okay is because um, someone in Sue's position, instead of reaching out to say, hey, I'm going to buy a CD, what should I do, right? They just go out and buy the CD. The person at the bank puts the CD in your individual name. And because it's in your individual name, that means it's not in the trust anymore, all right? In our the planning, the way we do it, what that means is that it's not protected it's now on the table. It's back on the table for Medicaid purposes. Well, we don't want it on the table for Medicaid purposes. We want it off the table. And we don't want to rely on beneficiary designations in the uh, in the CD. Okay, we don't want to rely on that. We want to run it through the trust so that when it gets to your kids, not, right? Now, no matter what trouble your kids may be in, all right, this is the other part of it, no, See, see, that's the problem with the traditional planning, right? Number one, they don't do it right. They don't focus on you. Then they don't follow through. And then the trusts are set up to, to immediately dump whatever's in the trust on the kids. 
And you say, well, that's what I want to do. I want my kids to get my my stuff. And I'm, I, I'm fine with that. Fine. Let's give it to your kids. I'm fine with it. But how do you give it to the kids, right? If you just dump cash on a kid who's going through a divorce, right? Well, kiss half of that goodbye. And I know state law says oh, it doesn't count. Inheritance is not. Of course they count. Stop it. And I know the law says they don't, but in negotiation, they always do. It's just, that's just the reality of the thing. Okay. So let's keep it off the table by keeping it in trust for your kids. And we give the kid the authority, right? To empty the trust if they want to. And there's a way you do this again, following the rules. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Okay. So that it's protected for your kid. So if there's a bankruptcy, if there's a divorce, if there's a lawsuit, if there's student loan debt, whatever, then what you're leaving to your beneficiaries, to your kids, generally speaking, will actually get there. All right. See, that's the three things that traditional estate planning fails on. It's got the wrong goal. The goal should be to protect you first and foremost. Okay. That's number one. Then there's no follow through. So that doesn't work. And then finally, if, if by some, you know, blessing, there are leftovers, when it goes to the kids, it goes to the kids in the wrong way. It's just dump it on the kids. And you say, well, you know, my kids are very smart. Now, I'm not arguing about whether or not your kids are very smart. All right. The world is a dangerous place. Look around you. Okay. You got to provide protection for your kids. This is what I think. So, <laughs> so that whatever you've saved for them will actually get there. Don't, don't fumble on the one yard line, please.